He is known for being a German Catholic cardinal, philosopher, and theologian. He is recognized for his contributions in European history, particularly in the areas of spiritual and political matters. His name is Nicholas of Cusa. In the heart of Germany, during the Renaissance, a man emerged who would leave an indelible mark on European history. His name was Nicholas of Cusa, a polymath whose intellectual prowess spanned numerous disciplines. Born into a world of scholars and mystics, Nicholas displayed an insatiable hunger for knowledge from a young age. His parents, recognizing his potential, encouraged him to explore all the schools of philosophy and art of his time, ensuring that he would not be confined by narrow perspectives. As Nicholas delved into the realms of philosophy and theology, he became one of the first German proponents of Renaissance humanism. His profound insights into the nature of knowledge and spirituality led him to develop a concept known as learned ignorance. This mystical approach emphasized that true wisdom lies in recognizing the limits of human understanding and embracing the unknown. Nicholas's writings on this concept became renowned, capturing the imagination of scholars and seekers alike. But Nicholas's influence extended beyond the realm of ideas. As a papal legate to Germany, he found himself embroiled in the power struggles between Rome and the German states of the Holy Roman Empire. His diplomatic skills and intellectual acumen made him an invaluable mediator in these conflicts, and his contributions to the political landscape of Europe cannot be understated. In recognition of his remarkable achievements, Pope Nicholas V bestowed upon him the title of Cardinal in 1448. Two years later, Nicholas of Cusa was appointed Prince Bishop of Brixen, further solidifying his position as a prominent figure in the Catholic Church. Even centuries after his passing, Nicholas of Cusa's legacy continues to resonate. In 2001, the world came together to celebrate the sixth centennial of his birth, a testament to his enduring impact. His teachings on the interconnectedness of spirituality, philosophy, and science continue to inspire generations of thinkers, ensuring that his contributions will be celebrated for centuries to come. Nicholas of Cusa, a profound philosopher of the 15th century, delved into the realms of epistemology and metaphysics in his renowned work, De Docta Ignorantia. He posited that the finite human mind is incapable of fully comprehending the infinite divine mind. However, Nicholas believed that through acknowledging the limitations of our understanding, we can attain a state of learned ignorance. This concept, influenced by Neoplatonism and negative theology, emphasized the awareness of our intellectual limitations in knowing God. In his mystical writings about Christianity, Nicholas expounded on the intricate relationship between creation and the divine. He described the unfolding of the universe within God and their subsequent unfolding in creation. Some accused him of holding pantheistic beliefs, yet his writings were never deemed heretical. Additionally, Nicholas explored the use of conjectures or surmises to gain a deeper understanding of truth in his work, De Coniecturis. He believed that individuals could surpass mere reason and attain the vision of the intellect, but also acknowledged the possibility of falling back from such enlightenment. Nicholas's theological insights even foreshadowed the implications of Reformed teachings on the harrowing of hell, a concept later expounded upon by Pico della Mirandola. Both philosophers explained the dissensus in terms of Christ's agony, showcasing Nicholas's forward-thinking ideas. Nicholas of Cusa's philosophical contributions continue to resonate today, offering us a framework to grapple with the complexities of divinity and the limitations of our understanding. His emphasis on learned ignorance teaches us to humbly acknowledge our intellectual boundaries, fostering a sense of curiosity and openness to new perspectives. By embracing the notion that we can never fully comprehend the divine, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for the mysteries of life and approach our daily experiences with a sense of wonder and humility. Nicholas, born in a small town of Kuss in Germany, embarked on a remarkable journey that would shape both his life and the world of philosophy. His insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to study at prestigious universities and engage with influential figures of his time. Nicholas was not only a scholar but also a diplomat, a reformer, and ultimately a cardinal. As a young man, Nicholas immersed himself in the liberal arts, exploring the realms of knowledge and reason. His studies took him to the University of Padua, where he encountered brilliant minds like Julian Cesarini and Paolo dal Pozzo Toscanelli. It was here that he first delved into the intricate world of mathematics and began to question the nature of reality. Returning to his hometown, Nicholas became the secretary to the Prince Archbishop of Trier, Otto of Ziegenheim. This position allowed him to deepen his understanding of theology and engage with important religious and political figures of the time. Nicholas's keen intellect and passion for truth led him to uncover the forgery of the Pseudo-Isidorian Decretals and expose the falsehoods within the donation of Constantine. Nicholas's pursuit of knowledge and spiritual enlightenment extended beyond his academic endeavors. He attended the Council of Basel, advocating for the rights of the cathedral chapter and the need for consent in matters of succession. 
His diplomatic skills shown as he mediated conflicts and sought to bridge the divide between the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church, even traveling to Constantinople to bring the Byzantine Emperor to the Council of Florence. In recognition of his contributions, Pope Nicholas V bestowed upon Nicholas the title of Cardinal. As a Cardinal, Nicholas continued his quest for reform, spreading the message of change throughout the German lands. His efforts, however, were met with resistance, and he faced opposition from Duke Sigismund of Austria. Imprisoned and excommunicated, Nicholas's mission was cut short, but his legacy endured. Nicholas's life was characterized by a relentless pursuit of truth, an unwavering commitment to reform, and a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of knowledge and faith. His teachings and writings continue to inspire and challenge us today. Nicholas's philosophy invites us to question our assumptions, seek harmony between reason and spirituality, and embrace the transformative power of knowledge. As Nicholas himself once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. His words remind us that our actions, choices, and quest for truth have the potential to shape not only our own lives but also the course of history. And in our daily lives, we can draw from Nicholas's philosophy to cultivate a thirst for knowledge, strive for harmony and understanding, and embrace the transformative power of truth. Nicholas, a brilliant philosopher and mathematician, delved into the intricate relationship between mathematics and divinity. His mathematical ideas were beautifully expressed in his influential essays, such as De Docta Ignorantia and De Vision Dei. In these works, Nicholas explored the profound role that mathematics plays in orienting the human mind towards God. For Nicholas, mathematical figures were not just abstract concepts, but rather powerful tools that allowed the mind to contemplate the deformation and transformation of shapes. Through this process, the mind could gradually ascend towards a state of enlightenment and reach the coincidence of opposites in the presence of the absolutely maximal being. Nicholas's fascination with mathematics extended beyond theoretical musings. In his mathematical treatises, he even tackled the challenging problem of squaring the circle. Like the renowned mathematician Nicole Orsma, Nicholas pondered the possibility of multiple worlds, expanding his exploration into the vast expanse of the cosmos. Nicholas firmly believed that mathematics provided a pathway for the human mind to connect with the divine. By engaging with mathematical concepts and exploring their implications, individuals could develop a deeper understanding of the world around them and their place within it. In a world where scientific developments and secularization seemed to challenge traditional beliefs, Nicholas's philosophy offered a unique perspective on finding meaning and purpose. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.